Hey guys, so today I am showing you my uh, future, near future tiny house, hopefully. So <clears throat> this is a shed, a prefab shed uh, that is sitting in the property of uh, uh, my friend Jonathan. It's not really my friend, he's like a friend of a friend. And uh, he he owns these 400 acres in Bodega Bay with ocean view, sitting on top of a hill, uh, right on uh, PCH Highway One. And um, he needs a bookkeeper, and that's what I do. I keep the books. And uh, he said. It is a part-time job, and I'm sure he doesn't want to pay a lot. I don't even care if he doesn't even pay me for it, because he said that I can live in this little tiny house in a little corner of his property um, if I do that for him. And uh, today is the first time that I come to look at it because I'm not going to start this job until sometime in November, hopefully. Well, yeah, next month. We're really close. Today is October the 29th. But I figure before I move in here and, and start this gig for Jonathan, I will, uh, it'd probably be end of, it, end of November, realistically. You know, I was hoping to be here like before my birthday, but I just noticed there was, I went inside it and I see there's a lot of work to be done. Uh, but it actually, I was uh, pretty impressed because I thought it was, uh, you know, when you go to Home Depot and you see these prefab sheds, you go in, you go inside, and there's no drywall or anything. <clears throat> but uh, this one has drywall and insulation, so which is a good thing. Uh, so let's take a look inside. So this is the front door. And Maybe I should let's see if I can adjust the. Huh. Yeah, I can zoom it, but I cannot unzoom it. This is all the way back. All right, so this is the front door. And see, there's a drywall. And it doesn't sound hollow. So I don't even think it's drywall. I think it's plywood. Yeah, I stand corrected. It is plywood and it's insulated because it doesn't sound hollow and um, it's got a loft for my bed I think I can fit my Tempur-Pedic king-size mattress up there and it's got a little skylight which I'm gonna have to buy a cover for it because it's something happened to it and just put an old piece of plywood on top of it i can see it over the roof it's an oversized piece of plywood it's got uh outlets it's got windows which is a really good improvement from my current situation as you guys know i live in a inside a storage box uh which has no windows and there is a pipe that comes up, a water pipe and a water drain that comes up. I just need to hook them up, they're not hooked up. There's also a power line. It's not hooked up right now, but I need to, I can hook it up, I think pretty easily. And from this little window, I have a view of the Pacific Ocean and some kind of pond down there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, there we go. 
So that's my view. Yeah, that's a better. That's the view from my window. Awesomeness. So I think, oh, and it's got hardwood floors. Check it out, hardwood floors. A little bathroom vanity for the sink. So I don't like this uh, contraption here. It uh, serves as a stair to climb up to the loft, but um, it's a little bit uncomfortable. I mean, these are really tall each step is uh, at least two feet so I don't think uh, I'll just probably <clears throat> take it out and put like a little ladder or something on, on this other side I think it's better uh, in fact by the light switch so you know when you go up you're right there by the light switch and turn the light on um, so this is my tiny house and there's a bunch of junk out which I will clean up just need to uh, make a little money so I can go to Home Depot and get some stuff and I can fix it up really nice and I want to put along this uh, <clears throat> this looks like a passageway like a road so I'm gonna maybe plant a row of bamboo <clears throat> right here because I think there's a gate right here uh, and there's a gate down there so I think they drive up to this so I'm gonna put like a row of bamboo right here just in case you know I need some privacy <clears throat> Pretty nice little picnic table there. <clears throat> Bring my barbecue. And it's right by a little creek, which is dry right now because we're in October. But I'm um, hoping that uh, as soon as the rain season starts, hopefully around December, January. Then we get some running water here. Wonder if I could even build a little dam. Just dam it up a little bit. So the you know create like a little reservoir to last into the summer months. <clears throat> Not too high of a dam, obviously, so that you know, keep the level kind of low so we don't want to flood anything. <clears throat> All right, so this is it. And this is the, um, this is the power. And there is a power line that I would like to, um, But I would like to uh, bury underground. This is it. It's this yellow, yellow power line that was once hooked up to it, and now for some reason it's uh, unhooked. Um, so yeah, uh, it's a fixer upper, but. I will be very happy to work with it as long as I get a little income coming in. But so now I'm gonna just need to worry about the income sourcing. <clears throat> and Charles tells me that uh, I haven't talked to Jonathan directly, but Charles, who is kind of my intermediary with Jonathan. Tells me that Charles, I mean that Jonathan, wouldn't mind if I make a little addition to it. Andrew says that I should build a deck all around it, but I am a little bit more ambitious. I'm huh? thinking about 
building room additions to it. All right. Oh, and today is October 29th. I think I said that, Friday. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.